the little historians, it is time to make our ancient China journal, our lift the flap books. This one won't be as hard as the first one because now you know what you're doing. You, you've already completed your ancient Egypt um, lift the flap pages. So today I want you to go get your ancient China pack your journal or your empty pages that you're going to work on, uh, a pencil, and if you need your colors or your scissors or glue at this point, you can get those too. So go ahead and pause the video to get ready. All right. So today, instead of paging through the packet that you got, I'm going to show you the finished products because uh, I think you already understand that the packet pages are going to be put into your journals or into your um, empty pages that you have. So here's how I colored up the cover for my journal. So you can just cut it to fit onto your page. And remember, the best way to do it is to color first, to fill in the blanks, then to cut and to glue. And kids, you can go in any order that you want. Um, I don't mind if yours is a little bit different than mine, but I guess it makes sense to put the cover first. So here are some of the Lift the Flap pages that you'll be doing. Underneath Ancient, I think you have the words long ago. And so when we were studying about ancient China, we were talking about 2,000 years before Jesus was born. And so China and the world, let's see, ancient China is located in the continent of Asia. So it says color Asia green. Well, my green is kind of, I changed my greens, but this is all Asia and China is this one right here. And then it says color America red. Well, we have North and South America. So here is what goes underneath these big flaps. Finding China, ta-da, it's in Asia. So it says shade China red and shade the Pacific Ocean blue. So I've done that for you. You could label it if you want to. Here are some other pages that you might be making. What is China's climate like? Well, it has Seasons like ours, winter, spring, summer, and fall in the land. You might not have all these. I can't remember exactly what I included in your packet, boys and girls, but this is how they go together. And remember, you can pause anytime you want. Here's some more about the climate, uh, the kind of weather that an area has over a period of time. Contribution is a big fancy word of saying, what have you done for us? Well, China has done lots of things. Here are some contributions, some inventions that are credited to China. The kite, silk fabric, fireworks, and the compass. There's a rickshaw too. I think that's what they call that. Then thinking about the architecture for this ancient civilization, the structure or design of buildings. So here is some thing that China is very famous for, the Great Wall of China. And here you might need to pause to fill in some empty spaces. It was built to keep out northern invaders. It is over 5,000 miles long, hundreds of thousands of soldiers and slaves built it, and it took over 200 years to build it. And it's the longest man-made structure ever. And I bet some of you have gone on virtual field trips and seen it from outer space. You can do that. Okay, we have one more thing here. This is your page where you get to think about the language of ancient China. 
the ancient Chinese rodent characters. Um, here are some modern day characters that represent the words, uh, words that you might know. So this space is for you to practice writing some of the characters um, top to bottom with your pencil held entirely vertically. And I don't think I gave you this page, so we won't worry about that. All right, that should do it. I hope you enjoyed learning about ancient China. Have a great day, boys and girls.